All right, now that I've had my dance break, let's get started. Off camera, I have primed and moisturized, and I'm starting with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Natural Beige and a Real Techniques buffing brush. You just want to dab this on your face and buff it into your skin. It's also important to note that you want to match your foundation to your body. I actually could have gone a couple shades darker since I am wearing self tanner. That's important to remember. You always want your face to match your body. But I can always warm it up a little later on with our bronzer. And also, I purposely don't tan my face because it's taken a lot of work to get my skin back to the condition it is now, which it's not perfect, but I'm certainly thankful. So I am priming my eyelids, actually using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. You can use whatever you like. I just have a couple vein places that I like to cover. And we want to make sure our eyeshadow has a uniform base. So you want to grab a eyeshadow brush. I'm using Real Techniques again, and I will link all the products down below. I'm starting out with the Morphe palette. I'll link that also, it might be sold out, but I'm starting with a light color, kind of as my transition color. I'm just gonna put that all over the crease. And don't forget to blend. Sorry, I had an eyelash that was bothering me, which you'll see, it continued to bother me. I'm going with a slightly denser brush for my outer crease. I'm going with a deeper brown. These are all matte shades, so they're appropriate for any age. I'm concentrating that on the outer part of my eye because I like to elongate my eye shape. You want to also run it in the direction as if you would run your eyeliner. Kind of that outer V shape. And just keep on as heavy or as light as you want. Obviously add more or less to make it darker or lighter. Again, I'm going back in and blending because blending is key, people. I do have deep set eyes, so I like to go slightly above the crease so that I can see more of the eye color when I'm looking straight forward. But you do what you like. This is supposed to be fun. Once again, I'm going with a slightly darker brown shade. It's still matte. And I am using this as my eyeliner because we are using no eyeliner for this look. This will last a long time and it's not very harsh. Especially for a date look, you don't want to do anything too extreme. So just run that along your upper lash line. And I kind of wing mine out as if it was liner. And if you prefer liquid eyeliner, you can follow that, use that as your direction, and go back over with liner. And while we have a little break, let me just say that I have lash extensions, so I won't be putting on mascara later, so don't forget that step, or you can add a fault strip if you prefer. Obviously, this is my first ever makeup tutorial, so Morphe has no clue who I am, so I'm not getting paid to say this, but if you can get your hands on this palette, it is definitely worth the price. I think it's $22. I will try and link it below, but it's normally out of stock, but if you can find it, it is totally worth it. Next, I'm moving on to concealer, and you will see a girl has plenty of options. And normally I would go with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, but I am running low. So I found kind of a dupe for it by NYX, and it's pretty much the same thing, and a lot cheaper. 
You want to try to mimic the shape that I'm doing with my concealer to avoid that under eye raccoon look that some people get. Or you can do an upside down triangle shape. And you might look a little bit scary, but it's okay because we're going to blend it out. You will see I am using a cute little pink beauty blender. And if you hear any weird noises in the background, just keep in mind I'm at my parents' business recording this. So yeah, lots of stuff going on here. I'm going back over with the Urban Decay Naked Concealer in light warm just because the other shade wasn't quite light enough for me. And please don't forget to set your under eye in any other oily places on your face. I'm using the Laura Mercier Secret Under Eye Brightener. And next I'm going back into the Morphe palette and I'm going to use a pencil brush and kind of smudge that color on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go back in, and I'm sorry but this is the best way, just use your middle finger and I'm getting a shimmery kind of like taupey champagne color and just patting that onto the inner part of the lid. I like to stay towards the inside just because I don't want too much sparkle or shine on my outer eye. And you want to pat that on the tear duct. That does a lot for brightening your eye and opening it up. And now I'm doing my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, which is amazing again, in the shade taupe. And I probably should have spent a little more time because as you've noticed, my brows are more like uh, cousins instead of twins. So I kind of have to even them out. Next, you want to bronze around the outer perimeter of your face. And I'm using Too Faced Bronzer in Milk Chocolate. Chocolate, I believe. Sorry, guys, I can't talk. And this wasn't quite dark enough to bring me to the darkness of my body. I'm going to see me in a minute go back in with the Milani Baked Bronzer in Soleil. It's the shade number five. And next I will be going with the Too Faced Love Flush Lush Palette. Wow, that's a mouthful. And I use the shade I Will Always Love You. This is beautiful and so pigmented. So if you are using this, just go lightly and then you can always build it up, but it's really hard to take away. And I am gonna go back in with the shade Love Hangover. It's a little more of a pink color right on the apples of my cheek, kind of for an extra pop. Next, I'm moving on to highlighter and you'll see I'm using Bar Mercier. It's unbelievable. If you're not used to using a highlighter, this is perfect for you because it has zero glitter or not too much of a shimmer. It's just more like a sheen. Especially if you're a pill, you can definitely get away with using this one. It will add plenty of life back into your complexion. And we're going to finish off with our lips. I'm just using a natural nude color lip liner. I believe it is NYX in the color natural actually. I'll put a link below. And then I'm using my one of my favorite lipsticks. It is MAC Cream Sheen in the shade Pure Zen. It's a gorgeous nude, just kind of like your lips, but better. And you don't have to top this off because it's a cream sheen. It has a little bit of a gloss built into the lipstick, but I did top it off with a Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss. And I'm finishing off with the Urban Decay Setting Spray. And here's the final look. I think it's perfect for date night. It's not too much, but you still look pretty glamorous. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it. Please subscribe and share this link. And did I mention that my husband has been gone for over a month? So I will see him in two days and we are certain to have our own very special date night. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.